There was a dude Pythagoras in 500 BC, master of philosophy, music, geometry, found you could take the squares of both sides of a right angle, they'll be the square, the diagonal, across an E rectangle. The sides on both sides of the right angle, you call them A and B. The diagonal's the hypotenuse, but you can call it C. You take A squared and B squared, and you add them both together, and then you have what C squared is. You'll learn to do this better. A squared plus B squared equals C squared, and C squared minus A squared equals B squared. A squared plus B squared equals C squared, but C squared minus B squared equals A squared. All you do with C squared now is take the square root. Now you have the diagonal, you've made the problem moot. If you have the A and C and need to get the B, then you take A squared and subtract it from squared C. To graph it on a calculator, you're unknown. C or B is X. Set the domain for at least the unknown. You will pass the test. Put it in quadrant one. Range at least A squared plus B squared. Put A squared plus B squared with Y1 and Y2 put X squared. Push second trace five. Enter, enter, enter. Now you have the hypotenuse. You've got it all together. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And C squared minus A squared equals B squared. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. But C squared minus B squared equals A squared. All the variations you can learn just like a flash. These troubles with hypotenuse are now a thing of the past. Now give some props to g Dog. Show this man some love. Any problem that you see can be as harmless as a dove. <laughs>